What's up guys? What's up? How you doing? I am riding. I'm back on the Rad Rover. Wow, it has been a while. Let's see how the brakes sound. Okay, not too bad. They kind of need a little bit of adjusting, but I'll adjust them later. Wow. I'm gonna go through the cut, uh, the shortcut. I'm gonna go through the shortcut because it should be dry. It's been, it's been dry. I have not been riding my bike. I'm already down one bar, so the battery has been, uh, I haven't used the battery for like about a month because mainly it's been raining. Okay, so it's been raining and, oh, thank you lady in the, in the white uh, sedan. Uh, it's been raining and I've been on a, uh, I guess you'd call it vacation, weekend vacation. I've really just had to take my uh, oldest to uh, to uh, camp, and so uh, we just made it, made the most out of it. Oh, they cut the they cut the grass. It's dry. It looks bumpy, as usual. Probably a lot of ruts because. When they come out here and they cut the grass, it was probably wet. Leaves a lot of rut. Ooh, I see a white heron, gray heron. Like a great, great heron. A lot of birds flying away, sorry. Uh, summer is almost, almost over. Ooh. Okay. So I haven't touched the bike in, in a while. I have not touched the bike in a while. It's almost been uh, a month. And so, uh, look forward to uh, riding again. Feels good. Feels good to ride again. That's all I gotta say. Anyways. So guess where I'm headed? I'm headed to, you guessed it. <laughs> I'm headed to the clubhouse. God, I have not been there. Uh, if you haven't already seen the videos where I went to San Antonio and uh, Austin, go check it out. I'm gonna make this uh, bike ride a conclusion about Austin. I was going to make a separate video, but I figured I'd just go ahead and multitask. And talk about the conclusion of my Austin vacation trip. My little weekend Austin vacation trip. It was quite interesting. So, I have to pick up my oldest from camp. Camp lunch is served. Typical hamburger, dogs, fries. Oh, there's some strawberry stuff. And watermelon. And her camp is in like a Blanco area. Between, uh, very close to San Marcos. And San Marcos is somewhere between San Antonio and Austin. So, uh, we went to go pick her up with the new car and if you're wondering what, why I have a new car my Tucson caught on fire got an update we had a car fire we had a car fire right here it is really hot and we're having a car fire so my car caught on fire while I was driving we're on the side of the road I, was, I don't know what to say That's not the worst of it. So it did catch, it did catch on fire, but that's not why the car broke down. The car broke down 
the cause of the fire was actually uh, wear and tear, unfortunately, on the engine. Uh, I had a piston rod blow through the engine. All right, everyone, I am at the car. I'm at the body shop here. This is Atlas Body Shop. They have a third floor here. And uh, I want to see where this hole is. And I, I can see it. It's right in here. It is right. I hope you can see that hole. That is the hole right there. Let me try to. There is the, a hole in my engine. And you can kind of see that a little bit better. I can't believe it. That's that's where the oil leaked out. Eventually got to the uh, got to this axle part where the wheel and the engine meet up, and that's where the fire was actually. That's where where the where I saw the fire, but obviously it was caused by oil for whatever reason. I don't know how the oil caught on fire, but the insurance company is not. Uh, there it is again. The insurance company is not going to claim it because it's wear and tear and I, I agree it, it is and unfortunately that's that's life that's what happens so total loss this baby's gonna go to the junkyard they're gonna roll it down off the third floor I'm on the third floor and hopefully the tow truck will come by and so uh, I don't understand because I I just it wasn't recent I, I didn't change the oil right away I mean it's, it's been a few months but I only had maybe a thousand miles at most on the Tucson after I changed the oil I changed my we don't drive it that much so it had oil I checked the oil it had oil it doesn't need to be changed because it's we don't drive it that much everything was fine uh, the only issue I had was that check engine light with the uh, that controller motor that valve controller runner controller which it was functioning. I made sure it would function. And so, uh, coolant, tire pressure, everything. You know, there was no oil leak because it's been in my driveway. Uh, so, I don't know when I checked the oil. Oil was sufficient. But after I made the stop at Bucky's, man. After I made stuff at Bucky's, that's when, um, and 10 minutes from our hotel uh, is where I ended up stopping. But before then, I, I heard this 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 popping noise, boo, like that. It sounded like poo, and I could kind of feel it through the steering wheel. And uh, yeah, I ended up getting a big hole in the engine, which. You got a big hole in your engine, your engine block. Oil is going to come out. Oil was basically leaking out. Got onto my front uh, axle, where basically the transmission meets the wheel, and from there, it was just that's where the fire was, and it was it was very small. So, anyways, insurance did not cover it. Insurance did not cover it because it's a wear and tear. It wasn't, the fire didn't cause the issue. So the fire was the result of wear and tear of the engine block, quote unquote engine block. So anyways, I had to salvage the car. So, so, uh, so that's what I had to do on the way back to Austin. So Austin was great. I, uh, my wife paid for most of everything.
our points on the hotel. Um, we had an issue. I was trying to get everything done without me actually going back to San Antonio. So to salvage the car, but it was just, it turned out just, it was just a lot easier for me to go to San Antonio, give him the title, the tow truck driver, the title. He cuts me a check right at then and there. So we had to do that. So we had to stay an extra day. So we stayed uh, Sunday night and uh, Saturday night and Monday night. So we had to stay an extra day for that. Which wasn't too bad because the the place where we were staying was really nice. I, I actually liked it. It had a table, a uh, refrigerator, microwave. It was perfect. Uh, we ate out a lot, of course. We didn't cook anything. Um, and but, but it was good. It was good. I, and we ended up being able to stay one more day. Usually summer you know it's hard to extend your stay because it's already booked but this hotel was not booked so we were able to stay one more day in the same place so we didn't have to move around and all that other stuff now i gotta hurry there's another biker gonna cross here oh, you get on a bike there you go, thank you. Now they're cutting the grass out here. So I, I really enjoy the museum as much as I like making kind of fun of the whole art thing, you know. Uh, at, at my heart, my heart, at my heart, I want to, uh, I really wanted to be an artist. You know, my my heart, the bottom of my at my heart. You know, but uh, you know the art, uh, the art business is uh, a different kind of animal. So probably could never uh, feed myself being an artist. I would have to maybe die of suicide or something. You know. Anyways, but I do I do. I do enjoy, you know, doing some things, doing art, making art for myself, for your self-pleasure, of course, my self-pleasure, anyway. It's uh, therapeutic, uh, but kind of dry, you know, bland, typical museum kind of stuff. Oh, got to watch that low, low branch. So typical museum, kind of dry, although I did like the museum, the Blanton Museum. I guess it's the Jack S. Blanton Museum of Art. The Jack S. Blanton Museum next to, uh, I don't know, that is that Texas A&M or, I think that's some kind of college, right next to a college. Uh, enjoy the Capitol. Man, I mean, on a Sunday, you get to see a lot on a Sunday afternoon at the uh, state capitol. All right, finally get to see some radical leftists with their propaganda. Looks like her shirt says, end immunity. I think they're talking about uh, police immunity. So, there you go. Now there's a lot of debris here. So, saw, saw quite a bit, I mean. On a, on a Sunday afternoon. So, Austin's very interesting. It's becoming like a mini California. California. Yeah. I am from California. And we're here to pump you up. And, uh, yeah, the, uh, the whole thing's becoming a little... Oh, overshot. Need to probably check out my brakes. All right, BMW. things going on today. Uh, that pool looks like it's closed. Okay. 
I'm looking at all the pools. I'm not going to go to the pool today. I'm just going to go do my ride. I have uh, I have a protein drink, my nutritional drink. Not really a protein drink, but it has protein in it. But it's nutritional vitamins and all that stuff. So I have my supplemental drink. And uh, after I drink that, I usually put cold water. Try to get some cold water in here in my body. Drink some water. I went to the bathroom before I left. So, anyways, back to back to Austin. Yeah, I, I enjoy the museum. A little dry sometimes, but hey, you know, my oldest is into art. My youngest will probably be into art. Most likely, they'll art major in art because that's the easiest <laughs> for them anyway. Easiest for them to uh, major in and. Uh, or high school and probably college and get their degree. I don't know how useful it is, but really anything you get from schools, most of the time not very useful because I'm gonna try to get back here. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm trailing the uh, semi. Everybody's gonna go around, so no big deal. So yeah, they'll be most likely they're gonna major in art or something, and so I figure you know, might as well, might as well try to inspire them. You know, I myself wanted to be an artist, so how can I blame them? Although I think it's, for the most part, <laughs> I wouldn't say it's completely useless, but when you're trying to make a living, raise a family, yeah, and also I never was. I was never good as an artist, but you know, I could, I'm more technical. I did love, I do enjoy architecture and things like that. Photography. I was really great at photography, by the way, but but you know, hard to make a, a decent living or for what I want or what I want to do. Hard to make a living. But maybe I'll pick it up, who knows. Anyway, it's gotten way easier to become a photographer. It's like anybody can pick up a camera and just, not even, they're not even, uh, it's all auto focus, auto this, post-production. Nowadays, if you, if you get into photography, you get a, I guess you're just doing it because you enjoy it. As far as any practical applications. I don't know. I guess there is professional photographers out there. Someone needs to take your wedding pictures. You're not going to take your own wedding pictures, right? So, all right. So back to back to Austin. I'm almost. I'm almost there. Uh, the uh, Wonder Spaces. That was fun. That was fun. There's several wonder spaces. The one half, it's a Los Angeles based company, but you know, it, I, th I thought that was more very interesting. I did like that. It brought in technology, you can call that, I guess, digital art, quote unquote digital art. I did immensely enjoy it. I, I love, I love the reality or the illusion of life. That's how I. I, you know, that's how I say it. I, I enjoy the illusion of life, or realizing the the illusion of life, the lo the illusion of reality. It's all an illusion. All an illusion. This is all everything you see here, even this video, is nothing more than an illusion. It's all your imagination. Reality, a reflection of reality, but it's all in your head. In your head. It's also on my head. <laughs> but this is an illusion. 
and uh, makes you wonder like what's real what's not so that's what the wonder spaces kind of kind of does for me you know it enjoys I enjoy uh, I enjoy that kind of thing the illusion of, of reality or exposing the illusion of reality okay oh I'm almost done Let me lower that gear a little bit uh, let's see, anybody out here? Put on the lowest gear. Nope. All right. Oh. Beautiful day out here. Uh, I'm probably just gonna drink my nutritional drink, get some cold water, and then be off. And oh yeah, I'll, I'll also be going to Dallas, by the way. So I'm gonna be going to Dallas to do another travel video. So stick around for that. All right. See y'all later. Bye.